the Gently Does It shop on Tripity Corner. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Murray. What am I going to do? Well, pick it up for starters. I'm terribly Please sorry be about careful that. About these, I'm sir. terribly sorry about that. You I must, must uh, apologize. It uh, accidentally just sort of came loose there. But what must I do? Just pick it up. Pick it up and put oh, it back sir. on the door. Uh, allow me to uh, just pick it up and put it on the door. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. Marie is the name. Motor Marie from the. I'm sorry. What? What was Please that? Please do try and be careful. I, uh... Just to leave it here, sir. Yes, just leave it there. I'm from the, um, Valtimere nurseries out at Ferndale, please. And, uh, <coughs> perhaps you've heard of me. I, um, have got these Shall I just interesting go to the, uh, articles, go to the these the car, items please. here that yes. I'd like you to have a look at. I'm sorry, Mr. Murray, must I, must I just go and um, have the car on the other side? Yes, go and do what you like with it! Uh, this, for example, isn't... Ethiopian tobacco pot, which I'm sure you can see is really quite a classical yes. piece. Uh, that man won't be coming back in here again, will he? Um, well, I, I, uh, I can, well, I can see that he doesn't, if you like. I also have a 16th century frescoed uh, China sweet dish from the Sudan. Um, oh, that's very can, interesting. Could that? I have a look at it? Rather beautiful item, as you can see. And, uh, as a matter of fact, this piece over here, this dates back to the Ming Dynasty. Yes, that's, I... that's quite genuine. That's about, oh, how old would that be? Uh, but anyway, how would you, uh, evaluate these well, things? Well, I what do you think, think one of the best ways is, of course, to give it a bit of a, a bang against the a solid what? Side. A what? No, 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 don't do that. Don't, no. uh, that's priceless. Don't you realize that that's priceless? You can't uh, go tapping it like that. My dear man, I'm well aware of that. It's the question of how you tap it. No, please, look, I'd rather you not do that because I don't think it's, my nerves can stand that. It's the only way to genuine see if it's the genuine article. My dear man, that is from the Ming Dynasty. Do you realize that that is quite priceless? There are only two others in the world. The one is in the palace of the Shah of Persia, and the uh, other one, please don't do that, the yes, other one is in Buckingham Palace. Well, look, I think for something like this, I give you um, four and fifty. Are you trying to be funny? Uh, uh, and what about the other... Uh, uh, are you trying to be... Are you trying to be ridiculous? Let's have a look at this one. Uh, I don't think you know your job. I don't think you really are an evaluator of these priceless, priceless articles. Uh, the other one don't I slam it down like uh, that. Five and twenty-five. How would other... you like it if I went up over to this, what is this over here? This, uh, what is this? This Egyptian vase over here. How would you like it if I went up to it and started shaking it around like that? Mr. Hey. Murray. Oh, my goodness me, I, I'm sorry. Yes, Mr. Murray, they about... come uh, again. They're going to tow your car away because you park in the other side of the parking ground. Now they're shouting at me. Look what you've made me do. I've broken this priceless barn. You oh. make me so mad. I oh, feel like sir. breaking all your own oh, junk my in here, really. There are all nothing. Mr. Murray, the one from my other side. All your own priceless junk. Mr. Murray, please. Your own crockery, your own junk, your own fake. They're all fake rubbish. Oh, that fight, man. But he tells that me it's going silly, to... That silly, silly man. He tells me he must go the other side. To Who the tells you what? The policeman. Eh? What policeman? You better to go this side. Sir. What are you talking about? What are you going on about? Babbling, babbling, babbling. What policeman? I've just been talking to a And I repeat, the only evaluator of priceless, priceless chinaware. I know. You're you, but talking about this. When I go back to take the car, the, the man says not, must not be that side. Must go around the other place for us. Now, what must I do? I really have no idea. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop in here into this little restaurant here. And, um, I shall be going home on the bus. Sixth floor, SABC. Hello there, Rupert. How are you? Hello, 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 everybody. 
Hello, old voter. Hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> you don't look too good. How am I? You know, that's what's so silly about this whole nonsense. Everybody wants to know how you are. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? No, I'm very well, thank you. And blah, 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 blah. Well, since you're all so terribly interested, I'd like to tell you that I'm not very well. Well, you don't have to go on and on like that. Well, if you really want to know, I've got gout. Gout? That's why my foot is all bandaged up like this. But what did you get the gout from? I've always had gout. And now you people ask me how I am, and now I'm telling you how I am. This is what makes... You can see I walk in here with my foot all bandaged up with gout, and you clowns stand here and you say, Oh, hello, hello, hello. How are you? So nice to see you. What you see, you say it like parrots. You don't know that you're saying, How are you? That's the whole problem. People don't think these days. And I've got a whole foot bandaged up like this. Really, do you mind if I sit down? Well, I don't think you should get so worked up. Don't get so worked up. Hello, Mr. Murray. Hello there. How are you? Hello, Henny. What did you say? Hello, How are you? I'm sorry. Would you really like to know how I am? No, come here. Since you're so interested in my health, I will tell you how I am. Voter, calm down. Don't get so worked up like that. Well, that's quite true. I'm just tired of people saying, hello, how are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. And how are you? I mean, it's quite ridiculous. I must have a cigarette. Voter. Hello, Sunita. I was just... You? Just about to... How... what? I think, how are you? Now, look at me very carefully before you say that, and then I ask again. But I'm, I'm in a hurry. I'm sorry. I'm just passing, and I said, how are you? How are you? I've got gout, sitting and that's what I... I've got gout, and I'll come after you, but wasn't that I... Oh, I, I can't... I mustn't do that. I mustn't do that. I'll get over excited, and if I touch this foot of mine, I'll go clean through the roof. Why is it very painful? No, no, it's just, uh, it's just for fun, you know. I just wear the bandage and stuff around the foot just, just for sort of novelty, you know, just for effect. That's why I have it all bandaged up like this. Be very careful, Mr. Mr. Murray is uh, not very well at all. Careful that you don't. Uh... No, I'm sorry. He told me to bring. Uh, I've got through my, the plan. But I'm now, not interested, really. I'm just sitting here. Quiet, quiet, quiet. That was a tribute to Mr. Darrell Yester, who suffers from chronic gout. The rooms of Dr. Edward van Rijn, orthopedic surgeon. Good morning. I have an appointment with Dr. van Rijn. The name is Marie, Walter Marie. Thank you. We're expecting you, Mr. Marie. Uh, shall I just take a seat down over here? Thank you. Fill out that form, please. Are right. you a medical aid? Uh, yes, yes. Well, right that's no good because he's contracted out anyhow. So. So what? Well, get the bill and then claim afterwards. That's our motto. So I don't think I quite understand. Well, you see, a lot of them, no, no, it, it doesn't matter. Look, I'll explain it to you afterwards. I'll explain after the show. I must have a cigarette. My nerves. Doctors I can just do without. Next, please. Uh, oh, um... Captain. Oh, that's me. Um, yeah. Are you Mr. Van Rijn? Oh, no, sorry, that's me. I'm Dr. Yes, Van you're Rijn. Dr. Van Rijn. I'm... What's your name? Doctor... I'm sorry, I'm Mr. Marais. Walter Marais. Right, stand by. I'll be with you in about 30 seconds. All right. And listen, I'll don't just... get worried if you hear any unusual noises. All Give right, him a tranquilizer, please. No, 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 it's quite all right. I'll just uh, relight my cigarette that went out. Oh, Doctor... Hello, Mr. Marais. Yes? Stand by. will only be about another 25 seconds. What is going on? This is like waiting for some kind of a blast off. Oh, I should have cancelled this appointment this morning. I should have. When I woke up this morning, I said to myself, Walter, cancel the appointment. But no, I didn't, and here I am. 
Here I am. Trapped. Uh, Mr. Murray? Yes? Come through, please. Oh, well, I thought this is where we were uh, supposed to be. What's that? Oh, 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 in the waiting room. Come no, but I the... was in the waiting room. What's this room I'm sitting in now? I thought this was your... Uh... This is the empty room. Now, uh, uh, come through and... Uh, if I wasn't in such agony, I, w I just wouldn't go through with it. Uh, just come through, please, Mr. Murray. Well, it's this. What's all this stuff? Careful of this uh, undergrowth over here. I just have... This is to, uh, you know, to make the, the patients seem a little more at home. I put the various plants around the show. Oh, it's very nice, yes, but uh, don't you think perhaps you've got a bit too much plants? No, no, don't worry now. Stand uh, uh, by. Too me. many plants, I mean. Dear me. I'm so nervous, I'm forgetting my grammar. Right now, uh, my <laughs> name is uh, Van Rijn, Dr. Van Rijn. Yes, I know. And, I um, made an appointment to see you. I've contracted out of medical aid, but don't worry about that. Uh, the nurse will explain that to you, you know? Well, does that mean, look, it's no good if I have to pay. I'm not footing the bill for this. Just pull out that form. It doesn't matter. You I pull can't, it out like... I, look, I really, I, I don't think that we ought to get down to forms and things now. Right, Mr. Murray. Uh, what is seeming to be the trouble? Let's discuss my back. Right, let's discuss your back. You don't have to mimic me. No, no, no. I, uh, hold on a second. Uh, where's my nurse? A uh, nurse? I wish I had a nurse right now, too, holding my hand with a big dummy in my mouth. A uh, nurse, bring through Mr. Murray's x-rays, please. He hasn't had any x-rays oh, yet, Doctor. Oh, what a voice. Where did he find her? All right. Uh, well, then, come back later. Oh, hard as nails. I, I tried fit. to uh, organize some yes? x-rays for you, but they told me that now that um, there's no x-rays available. Does that mean you haven't had any x-rays yet? My dear man... I haven't been to a doctor in 45 years or thereabouts. Oh, I follow. Right. Uh, what is the trouble, Mr. Murray? Um, my back. The yeah. lower back. The lower spine. The lumbago region. Oh, the lum lumbar region. Yeah, we call it the, uh, the, the a sort of um, lower back region, you know, in medical jargon. Well, that's just what I was saying, Dr. Van Reinefeld. Van Rijn. Van Rijn. Right. Now... In, in other words, I haven't what you been have here before. I haven't had X-rays done, so of course you don't have any X-ray plates, photographs, slides, films, or anything else of me. Oh, I follow. No, that that was the whole problem. Hold on a second. I'll just uh, tell the nurse. Oh, uh, nurse, we do not have any X-ray plates on Mr. Murray. But that's what I said. Oh, do, then Dr. listen to that voice. Right, thank you. Can you imagine what she must be like at home? Yes. No, the nurse tells me that we don't have any x rays But that's exactly what I told you. Well, that's what I told you. In any case, what was the trouble? Did you say <laughs> that? <laughs> you must excuse me if I just have a quiet little laugh to myself. <laughs> it's just a relief tension, you understand, yes? Now, um, I think we may as well be on first-name terms, you know. Yes, sometimes we can hurt people, in, in, and I don't like to sort of call them mister if, if you know, there's a bit of a slip and, a, and, and maybe a disc slips or something like that. Now, what yes, I want that you... happens to disc jockeys quite often, but I don't expect it to happen here in your surgery. Well, would you mind just uh, 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 getting up and, so, and, and, and lying prostrate on, the, on this sort of a special type of a medical table? Yeah. Lying what? Uh, you, you lie flat on your... On your uh, you lie prostrate, what we say in the, in the medical profession, you know? Well, can I put my cigarette out first? Yes, put... And, and you shouldn't be smoking in here anyhow. It's, it's, it's a, a, a medical... Uh, place this. Well, I'm terribly nervous. Nobody said I couldn't smoke. Well, don't worry. I'll give you a, 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 a tranquilizing uh, pill or something. Right. Uh, right. Can you just get Can on the you... table? Get, get I, on I don't it. need any help. I'm quite able to get onto the table myself. Yes. Okay. Now, I, I feel quite stupid lying up here. Yes. All right. Well, now, don't worry. Uh, uh, you, you may find that some of the uh, equipment I use is a little alien to you, you know? But, uh, I'm, I'm sure your methods are alien, too. It's all best in the long run, you know? Now, this is what we call a back flattener. And this is the back cramper. And, uh, this one... Are you there. sure you need all that? You know, I only have back problem. I don't have trouble with my motor car's front suspension. Look, I, I'm, I'm the, the, the author, uh, uh, whatever you call it, surgeon around here. The author? I wish there was another author for this stupid script. For backs and bones and that type of a thing, you know. 
Right, now straighten but your that back thing, up. But that thing looks like a crankshaft to me. Straighten out your back, Mr. No, ju just between you and me. What is that? This is the back cramper. Right. Now, do you feel any difference now? <coughs> right. <coughs> feel any difference? Huh? I'm asking you if you feel any difference. Huh? I think I'm going to die. Hold on a second. I think that <coughs> my light's flashing. Huh? Uh, you can't leave me here. Release this thing immediately. What's the trouble? Uh, release this thing immediately. Release it. Release it. I, I can't breathe. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Mr. Murray, I won't be a second. I'm coming back just now. Huh? I, I'm feeling faint. I'm feeling faint. I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass out. I must pull myself together. I'm sorry, they uh, were reminding me that they had to go take to this uh, take it off. ladies' take meeting. It. Uh, take just it. hold on a sec. Take okay. It. Take it off. There we go. Oh. Now, you may find uh, that um, oh. after a while you get uh, That's a strange a sort of uh, cramps, you know? Having it off. Nothing could be worse than having that on. What did you think you were doing? When you get cramps uh, in your back, come back and see me. I'll give you a pulse for it. I don't get cramps in my back. Well, what was wrong? Was it the spinal column? I get... Do you mind if I get off the table? No, no, hold on a second. I no, well, because when I want to say something... I of vital importance, and I would rather column. stand up and say it. Allow me to get off this stupid table of yours, stand up and tell you man to man... Yeah? ...that I think you are a con man, and I That's don't think you know that. your job at all. All these that? old crankshafts and old rare electric springs and old abcaps. Do you think that I'm going to believe that this is all medical equipment? No, my dear friend. You are not the beginning and the end. And that's a line from my fair lady. There'll be another examination into the world's great professions next week at the same time.